um, <coughs> yeah, we're um, in this section, we are going to discuss um, account um, receivables and all that. How does account receivable work in QuickBooks Online? And how do you track your receivable balances and what give rise to your receivable balances? Now, when we talk about account receivable, account receivable is like a report or probably like a, a, a kind of a report that tracks all the invoices that you have probably um, issued to your customer and they are yet to be paid for and all that. So, you know, your last time we actually discussed what an invoice is, you can actually make reference to the video and see when I discussed um, QuickBooks Online Sales Receipts that I actually talked about different between an invoice and a receipt. You use receipt for cash transaction, you use invoice for your credit transaction. Now, when you issue invoice to your customer in QuickBooks, what that means is that you have actually sold to them but they are here to pay for those particular products. So, that leads to a report called account receivable report what account receivable report now does is it tracks the list of all the customers that are owing you that's the way it works so in tracking that in this quickbooks all you need to do first is learn how to issue your invoice now when you go to transaction here you come down to sales when you under sales you select your invoice so it's important for you to know when to use invoice and receipt like i said before so when you come to sales transaction you click new transaction then this is your invoice this is a receipt you actually dealt with receipt before you can actually refer to one of the videos where you find how we wrote to enter our sales receipt but for the purpose of this because we were talking about account receivable so we're going to be looking at your invoice so when you click invoice under the invoice section you'll be able to add details of your transaction but one thing is going to be missing on the invoice field and that is receive payments that is where you are going to deposit the money what that means is that you are only entering the transaction but cash has not been collected. Unlike when you go to your sales receipt window, you're going to find deposit to, which means cash has been collected. So your invoice is what you use when you sell to your customer on credit. So here, you're going to look for a customer. Like if the customer is not here, you add new. So here, as we're selling to cool cars, you select the customer name here. The address we show the um, the email address will also come up here. Now we have the terms. Terms is like a payment policy. Probably when you issue invoice or you when you sell it on credit to your customer, they have a period within which they are supposed to pay you back. So that's what we call terms. When you say the next ten days, that means it's supposed to pay you back in ten days. After ten days, system marks this invoice as overdue and all that now you can look at the date the invoice is issued the invoice is issued on the 14th now 10 days plus 4 will give you 24 if i go if i select another one again you're going to increase again so times it's something you might have to want to apply when you are issuing invoices so that you don't get to have all your money outside and you don't even have a collection period so it's better for you to have a terms across all your invoices so that when you state it on your invoice your customer sees it it makes you to be able to collect your cash faster so here we have our product this is where you select the list of the products that you were selling to your customer here then the quantity you enter the price of the product here now here it show you the amount if you start the row you come here you tick tax then you come here again you select the next product you're selling to your customer here here you enter the price too you will come and you will tick now when you scroll down you will see an option no matter by law every business is supposed to charge VAT and all that so you come here you select the VAT now the VAT rate um I'm gonna discuss how to set up VAT in QuickBooks too so here we have the VAT now if you're actually applying a discount to you come here now this discount could be in percentage of value what that means is that if I enter percentage whatever figure I enter here has to be in percent but if I select value, I don't need to enter the percent. All I need to do enter is enter the value. So the value is could be like ten thousand naira, which means ten thousand, ten thousand naira, or probably in your own currency you could say five dollars or ten dollars or whatever it is. So you select it here. So that means this amount will be deducted from this automatically. You can see it here. We virtually charge the uh, part on that sales. Then we apply the discount. So this is the final figure. So you could see what the system is even telling us balance due when you use a receipt to enter the transaction you will never see balance due you will see cash receipts and all that so this can you can see that even the window will tell you 
that they are actually different and the way the system recognizes this particular um, um transactions they are different if you enter a cash transaction and use an invoice system you pick it as if it's a credit transaction and that will directly distort your reports so we've selected pool cars we've entered the details of the sales transaction because we selected an invoice that means it's on credit cash has not been collected so here we click save when you come here you click save this transaction has been saved already into our system here so to confirm that we have actually sold to that particular customer so you see on the transaction here you can see invoice pool card and all that so the status is showing open what is open means is that they are yet to pay us they have not paid for that particular invoice here so when you see a status showing open in quickbooks online that means the invoice is yet to be paid for so that means it's still outstanding so to now check your report now is the combination of all the transactions you have entered via your invoice open when you now generate a report for all these invoice transactions which is all the sales that you have made and cash has not been collected that is where you now have your account receivable report so in summary account receivable report shows you list of all the money your customers are owing you so to view that you come to reports when you come to reports then you now look for your customers here you enter customer balance summary when you click customer balance summary this is your account receivable report here so you can see this is summary you can see the full cards you just sold to here so this is the summary of your account so if you want to check your account receivable report in quickbooks the account receivable report is what you have here then you can even do a drill down of each of these like i said you can customize this name here you can come here um put account receivable report so you click outside so you can see your account receivable report here so if you want to check details of each transaction you can double click on any of them to drill down to show you details of each transaction like here when you click here to show you details of each transaction here you can see we actually issued the invoice in some particular period and all that this is it here so this is just a summary of account receivable reports so account receivable report shows you the list of all the customers and their outstanding balances and all that if you have any question you can drop it on the comment box and you can subscribe to our youtube so that when we post new videos that will be useful to your business when you have any questions and we'll post your questions as a video you will definitely be notified and all that thank you